Hey guys, Skylar here. So I went to TJ Maxx and spent way too much money because I just wanted to get some more clothes for work. I'm also getting a bunch of stuff, hopefully in this mess of a moving process. So I figured I'd do like a super quick haul video. Um, two of the things I got are not really for summer. They're more for fall and winter, but I got them because they're there now. Um, but I was not the two quicker things, which is I got some body wash. So I found some, I don't, there's so many words on this, but it's a eucalyptus and honey body wash, I guess. And it smells amazing, and it was only like $7. Um, here, see if the beauty vlogger thing works, kind of. But it just smells so good, and I cannot wait to use it later. Ugh. Oh, <laughs> whoops, um, there's some stuff that came out. That sounds wrong. And then I also got a small bottle of uh, Jay Body Lotion, or Jay Butter Lotion. Uh, this was like seven bucks. Yep, seven dollars. Uh, this has no parabens, no petrochemicals, it's vegan. That's not a priority in my life, but cool. Uh, and there's no animal testing for this. And it's literally just, just what you need. Um, there's no silicones, no... None of the stuff you don't want here. It's really just a bunch of oils and smells. Also, it it also smells amazing. Uh, it's lemon sage. I'm excited because I have stuff for my hands. I have stuff for my feet. Um, I don't have anything just for body. So, great to like, use this part for my hands too. But you know, can't wait. Here's the label. Any y'all interested? So that's my quick things because they're non-clothing. Um, alright, so I got six shirts, a sweatshirt, and like a track jacket type thing, I don't know how else to describe it. I'm also trying to sit up straight, because when I slouch, then I look gross, and I feel gross. So I'm trying to sit up straight, it's really hard. Um, but let's start with some shirts. Um, all the shirts I got are 100% cotton, because I'm very much that it needs to be majority cotton, or at least 100% cotton, because I get launders better and it just feels better, and also, uh, I sweat like a pig if I have, uh, too much polyester on. So the first thing I got was just a simple pink Levi shirt, because every Wednesday I wear pink, and I don't have enough pink shirts. Um, and also this is Beyonce. This is 100% cotton and it just feels amazing. And yes, I still have all my tags on. I literally just got home. I don't care. All the t-shirts were $8, so I really don't care. Um, it's not like I went to some high-end store like Gucci where I might want to actually flaunt it. They're $8. Bucks. Like, someone can go for an $8 shirt for the Um, but yeah. So it's just a simple Levi. And the best part is when this fades off, then it's just a pink shirt. And I'm fine with that. And oh, it's, I just love the smell of TJ Maxx. I don't know why. I'm pretty sure it's a chemical smell, but welcome to my life. So yeah, nice, simple, pink Levi shirt. Um, the next like five shirts are all the same brand, which is Denim and Flower. I have become obsessed with this brand because they're 100 cotton. They're super soft. They launder really well, and when they're and they have a bit of a sheen, almost like a sateen, like when you get bedding and stuff. And when they wash, they still have that shiny quality, which I like. Um, the first thing I got, which I didn't think existed, was a, a pride shirt. So it's just rainbow hearts, um, and then a little rainbow banner on the inside, which I kind of love. And then they're all slim fit, so which is kind of nice to me, because I have to wear larges, because typically medium shirts are really tight in my shoulders. Which is weird because I don't have broad shoulders, at least I don't think I do. So I have to get large. And then also mediums tend to not be long enough from my preference. Um, it definitely goes below my waist, it's just when I lift up and the shirt goes way above my waist, I got a problem. <laughs> but larges don't tend to do that. But So I got this because the Denim and Flower brand, they're like $8 at TJ Maxx, they're typically slim fit so I don't have this big bag of fabric on me. And they're just really soft and really comfortable. So yeah, I got a bunch of these. I just love the hearts, just look at that. It's cute. Oh, I didn't notice this when I got it. There's um, there's a little unicorn on the tag. <laughs> I didn't notice that at all before. That's funny. The only thing I find is interesting is they put um, the European sizes on here. 
in Mex in uh, Mexico sizes and stuff, and Italy, and apparently Britain. So that's kind of cool. What I love is they're you, they're supposed to be retail for twenty four dollars. Like, well, if that's true, I'll take a sixth of the price because they're soft and they launder free. All right, next is um, again these are we all did them flower from here on out, and they're all slim fit. So I got a yellow one with some, like, nautical things. So a lighthouse, steering wheel, waves. I don't wear yellow, usually. This is so much brighter on camera because the exposure than it really is. But I don't typically wear yellow, so I figured I should get a yellow shirt. Because, I don't know, yellow is supposed to make people feel sunny, so. And what I love is the inside of the label typically has some kind of pattern that coordinates with what's on the shirt, and I appreciate that so much. Um, oh, this, this is on tag too, look, just to sail away on it, I love it. It's just like, this is such a fun brand, it really is, I love it, and it's so soft. I'm, I'm a sucker for soft things, so, love that. Um, and then I got another pink shirt here. Um, this one just has a slim fit tag, something special on it. But it's another pink shirt for my Wednesdays. This is just some cactus or cacti, whatever that you want to call them. So I'll kind of hold it up here. And again, I think this is also slim fit. Yeah, they're like all slim fit, but they're so soft and they launder great. And the other thing is like the, the, um, when they have decals and stuff, because you can feel the texture, they don't really rub off much. So I appreciate that. It's just all of them. So yeah, got that one. So I think I got three pink shirts in total. I did. Here's the other one. So sometimes they'll just keep it more simplistic. So this is another denim and flower. But just pink stripes and it has a little bike. And this one has a dog for some reason on the tag. I don't know why. A little golden retriever. Because who doesn't want a golden retriever, I guess? I don't know. But again, it's just really soft. Slim fit, eight dollars. I mean, you really can't go wrong if they fit you well. They launder well. I've had some stuff that I've been um, wearing for a couple weeks now, and it I've washed them several times. And the last shirt I got is do so you have a oh yep this one has a, this one is uh, I guess flamingos. I have like two flamingo shirts from at this point. I love it. Let me put it up closer so you can see it. And then it has a little sailboat on the tag. Not so little, a surfboard. Wow, difference there. But yeah, a little, little surfboard. Um, they do make like actual dress shirts too. I just don't like them that great because I don't like short sleeve. I haven't found a long sleeve version of these shirts. Because if I did, I'd buy them. Um, because pretty much every shirt I've found so far has all been 100% cotton, which I know cotton's pretty destructive for things, but uh, until they make hemp a thing for a lot of people, you know, it's gonna be a problem. All right, now the actual expensive things of this. Um, I got like two Calvin Klein pieces. I know Calvin Klein's not an expensive brand by any means, uh, but when you're at TJ Maxx, they're expensive. So the first thing I got was just a pullover sweatshirt. Uh, it's just the regular, you know, regular logo. Uh, it's beyond soft. <laughs> it was uh, $25, which it claims this is normally $42, but I find bull on that. Um, but it's just a nice white pullover. It's really soft. It has that fleece lining, like the blanket lining. So it's going to feel good to wear... Um, I don't know what the actual shell it's made of. I never didn't really look at it. You buy some polyester. I mean, the lining's polyester, obviously, but... You don't want to tell me anything, do you? You're probably over here. You tell me nothing! What I love is this is compare at 42, and the actual tag says 69.50 is <laughs> retail. Okay. It's also a, the color is bright white, apparently, which I don't count this as bright white, but you know. The only downside of white is if you don't take care of it, it turns yellow, usually. So, I will definitely be taking care of this. But, if you want it, 
because they'll probably wear in the winter with like PJ pants or something. So they do have some Calvin Klein PJs. So I think they'd go great with this, this to be comfy. And also, it has a nice smell. It's a chemical smell, obviously, but it smells nice. And I do appreciate that uh, the the cuffs, the rib, yeah, rib the cuffs are a different color than the actual sweatshirt. But I have no idea this is made out of. Are you, you're not fully cotton by any means. You're probably just polyester, but that's okay. My world is not going to end. Um, it's 72% cotton and 28% polyester, so this would be the polyester and the poly the cotton is the outside. But I like it, so I'm happy. I know it's expensive for just a pullover, but whatever. I'm, a, I'm starting to turn into a Calvin Klein boy, which is sad because it's, it's a pretty basic brand, but hey, it makes me happy, so whatever. And then the last thing I got was, I want to call it like a track jacket almost. Um, they did have this in black, but black attracts hair and lint so much. Uh, this is also apparently brilliant light. Brilliant light. Brilliant white. Uh, this was 35. TJ Maxx is to compare it. That's 59. And the tag says the MSP is MSPR or MSRP is supposed to be 118. So who knows? Um, the one thing I do like though is the little lining on the inside is just like a blue. <laughs> This is my life. Can you like focus on it? That'd be great. No, well, guess not. It says it's tech jersey. I don't know what the heck that's supposed to mean. But it's a very basic CK label, little plastic zipper. You know, so just branding. Only real branding's on the sleeve, but that's whatever. Um, that's another thing when it comes to like pullovers and jackets is I flung I fluctuate between a medium and a large depending on the fit. Uh, so for like the pullover, the medium didn't fit very, it was tight in the arms, but it was a decent length. But the large fits me in the arms and it's a little bit longer, not a big deal because you usually tuck things in anyways. And then in this, the medium was tight in the arms and not a great length, but the large, it fits good. It's a little baggy in the arms, but that's not a big deal because I'll obviously be wearing stuff underneath anyways. But the length is it's perfect on me, so this just fits just right. Another example is their shirts. The length of a like medium Calvin Klein button-down fits me perfectly, but the arms are too tight. And then the large, the arms fit a little or too baggy, and it's too long. I need like a medium and a half. It's ridiculous. But yeah, this is just a basic. It has pockets on each side, so. It'd be good for like fall and maybe to layer in the winter. Ow, the tag just spanked my leg. Out of curiosity, what are you? Oh, this is, oh, this is mainly cotton. It's 80, only 18% polyester, so that's probably like the pocket lining and stuff. And again, another thing I'm gonna have to make sure I keep white very well. Um, OxyClean usually does a pretty good job of keeping things white, so that's probably what I'll use to help lift it. And just to be careful with what I do, that's all. <laughs> so that's my haul, very quick, I know, fun times, yeah. All right, I'm gonna let you guys go because I gotta cut this down, it's just like 20 minutes, so I will see you guys in some other video. I'm gonna promise to make a bunch because my goal is to have a video every single week of August. Shouldn't be a problem because right now I have two moving vlogs, I have this one, and then I'm gonna have a third moving vlog, so not a problem. Anyways, let you guys go, see you soon. Bye.